You were with Jennifer Lopez yeah. last night? That's why I'm like, good dream, baby. <laughs> I love you, Paul. She loves love you, too. Huh? She loves you, too. Yeah. Say hello. Say bitch. <laughs> Hi, how you doing? My name is Julio Sánchez Maldonado, Corta Cebedo de Puerto Rico, racing in New York. Thank you. <laughs> oh, shit. heat pump uh, I was asked to do a little uh, uh, video on uh, just basic troubleshooting this this uh, water source heat pump but we have here this is a uh, heat comfort air made by heat controller they're all pretty much the same they all same controls uh, pretty much they're all the setup is the same uh, as you can see here you have a contactor you have your uh, traditional capacitor your uh, control board, transformer, and uh, this little guy right here is your uh, uh, blower relay. And uh, instead of uh, having an air-cooled condenser coil, we have a tube and tube condenser coil, which is this right here. So it's a refrigerant tube inside of a tube, basically. And uh, you have uh, water going in, water coming out. Basically, on these units, you want to make sure that you have the proper water temperature and proper GPM. Uh, these units, there are three GPMs per ton. So if you have a three-ton unit, you obviously need three G, no, nine GPMs for, to have that unit running properly. Take off the other one, Martin, so I can show them inside. So, uh, you, you know, very important to have proper water temperature. If your water temperature is at 100 degrees, you, your unit is going to cut off on uh, head pressure control. There's no emergency heat on these units. It doesn't go into defrost. It doesn't have a defrost board, okay? Typical problems that I see with these units, a lot of the problems is not having the proper water flow and uh, not having the proper water temperature. Uh, no, normally, typically, you would have a building uh, that supplies water to the units. You'll have a cooling tower, you'll have a heat exchanger plate, uh, but in some cases I've seen uh, that you, uh, city water used on these units where uh, with a water regulating valve, pressure regulating valve, where you can uh, reduced either the water flow coming in or coming out of the unit to stabilize your pressure. I've seen that too, but in most cases you, you're going to see a cooling tower, a heat exchanger plate, and uh, um, also uh, I've seen a lot of problems with uh, inside this pan, if you can see there, it's a little wet switch. When you're doing a PM, check this, check this uh, wet switch, very important. But this is the inside of the unit. There's your blower. Two of these. Do not be afraid. There's nothing to be afraid of. In my opinion, the regular uh, air-cooled condensers are way more difficult than uh, than the water source heat pumps. There's no defrost board to deal with. It doesn't go into emergency heat. It doesn't have any of that. Okay, so that's, that's that. Uh, just remember, proper water temperature is key. And uh, you got your reversing valve here. Okay, and your TXV is somewhere back there. Seen most of these units do not use uh, liquid line dryers. I, I, there are some units, some manufacturers do use them, but in most cases, I have not seen them. And I work on these a lot, so I haven't seen them. So basically, there it goes. There's your control board. There's n nothing to be afraid of. There's nothing here. It's a lot more simpler than your traditional air-cooled heat pump. Just remember, water temperature is very important. In cooling mode, if you're taking uh, uh, your temperatures off the inlet and the outlet, you want to have, typically you want to have 10 to 12 degrees differential. 10 is what you want to have, but if you have 12, it will still work. Okay, now if your temperature, if you're having 80 degrees going in and 98 coming out, you obviously are starving for water. High temperature differential means that you're not getting enough water. Low temperature differential means that your condenser is dirty, you have to flush it with the chemicals. Maybe it's scaled up inside, anything could happen. You get the scale remover and uh, you flush it, flush the system. Okay, just remember, low temperature differential, so if you have 80 going in, 82 coming out, 85 coming out, you don't have the proper uh, temperature differential, so no differential, so obviously your, uh, most cases your coil is dirty. Your condenser, heat, tube and tube. And uh, high temperature differential, you do not have enough water, so you're starving. Remember, three GPMs per ton. 
normally most units, most manufacturers would ask for three GPMs per ton. You know, not all manufacturers uh, are the same. Some may be different, but uh, from what I've seen, from what I've uh, learned from the calling tech support over the years, I was told uh, three GPMs per tons. Small baby unit. This is a this is a four ton unit. HBH 048 four ton, and nothing nothing to it. Okay. So that's it. Just wanted to show you guys. Guys, uh, also I failed to mention that the unit also comes with a uh, thermistor temperature sensors. Uh, that's right here. This right here. Uh, what this does basically, uh, it senses the temperature um, to prevent the unit uh, from icing. Uh, they have a thermistor. One is on the TX uh, after the TXV on the on the pipe, and one just before the TXV. To check these thermistors, there's a chart to go by. If you take a look here, for instance, at a 24, 28 degrees, uh, you should get a resistance of 36.10. And sometimes these things will fail. Check the thermistors on a on a maintenance call, even on a service call. Uh, in most cases, the board will tell you what's wrong with the unit, at least on the newer ones. Uh, not too much on the older ones. And, uh, and most of the water source heat pumps do come with these thermistors. It's basically, uh, they use it just to prevent icing. Uh, it's a temperature, thermistor temperature sensor, basically. And uh, here's that sensor I was telling you guys about in the condenser pan. Uh, if you want to just, if you need to pause it, just pause it. If you want to get this chart, you can get this online.